So my recommendation for serious learners, or if you're dedicated in, in this craft and want to invest in better tools, my recommendation is actually get two Makia brush and one synthetic hobby brush. So for the Makia brush, I would get a long one, long skinny one, because sometimes or most of the time, or for most people who are really into kintsugi is, or ceramics repair is because of the beauty of doing these lacquer lines. So in that case, this would be the brush to use. You get one and you can do a lot of projects. And if, if you are to only buy one Makia brush, get the skinny one because I think you have more chances to use it. If you can afford or if you're interested in buying two, get the long skinny one and then a calligraphy uh, sekiban. So you can, it doesn't have to be sekiban, uh, but at least find something that is of similar profile, which is shorter and slightly rounder. So with two Makia brush, like these two, you can do a range of work. So you, it will cover long cracks type of painting. And then as well as you have, if you have a big patch, you need to color in like this one or even bigger, then you'll find this short one very handy. So get these two and then throw in a quality hobby brush. And what we have in the store is actually the Tamiya hobby brush. Tamiya make very, very good quality hobby brushes. Um, so it's a very well-known Japanese brand that carries a bunch of hobby kits, model kits, uh, hobby paint, and a wide range of brushes. And this particular size is something that I have been using and enjoying it. It's quite versatile in size, which you can literally do both pulling a line and filling in bigger surface area. So it's always good to have, um, you know, synthetic brush that is easier to take care of, easy, easy to clean. The three brushes will take you through many, many projects. So that would be my recommendation. And if it is becoming very difficult to obtain the natural hair master series then look for the brown handles so these two would be the one that i would recommend there's the natural hair cat hair brown handle brush and then there's the synthetic pentel makia brush these two are also my favorite or my recommendation Okay, before I forget, there is one more type of brushes that I can briefly mention. You may not be needing them or using them, but um, because all these Makia brushes are, you know, more like pointy and gives you like very fine lines. But what if you need a flat brush, like a wider flat brush? What if you're doing your bizugi, which, um, for example, a whole patch of your piece is gone and then you repaired it and there's a huge surface area you need to paint with urushi so what do you use then we have a bunch of flat brushes these are called hake so these are brushes made for um, especially for urushi painting like a flat area so if you see a lacquer bow or if you see you're doing bento boxes cover you will not be using these brushes right so you would be switching to a flat brushes like these and they are made with human hair uh, very special brushes and it comes in all different sizes which is just you know interesting reference for you guys to know about you know handmade uh, natural hair brushes that is available for kintsugi craft or for urushi craft